is what I how I got started, Mr. Russ, is they call me the Boudin Man. <laughs> Went to Tyler, Texas. And my partner, this is LeBlanc Boudin. It's made in St. Anna by Gonzalez. And I have been doing to it. There's so much Boudin out there, good this, that here. But I favor this. This is what got me started into my restaurant and got me where I'm in. So I thank you, Mr. Jason Everett, his nep uh, nephew is his nickname there. And we got a hot pork boudin and a crawfish boudin. Crawfish season's coming up and it's real good. While I'm cutting this off and taking my ends off here, boudin, Cajun sausage. All it is is rice, pork, season, uh, your, your livers, your different ones got this here. But this is real good. But you can only get this in Louisiana though. A lot of convenience stores have it there. I don't believe they ship out. But when you're traveling through Louisiana, See if you can find down south is Le Blanc Boudin. What we're going to do is cut our boudin up and that it has in links and cut any excess uh, nipples off. This is the hot pork. What we're going to do today is take this hot pork and we're going to pecan smoke this on the grill. This is a pre cooked boudin. They come frozen in a pack, pre-cooked already. And we thawed out crawfish boot hand. Oh my gosh. Oh. Cut that up right there. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to about to take these out and we're going to put on a smoker. Smoke those up. Uh, like I said, 250 at what how long we're going to be doing. Uh, never use the come out of judge. Don't do smoking here, but Mrs. Russ's is his territory here. Um, Shouldn't take long. No, it, they're fully cooked, so yep. we just gotta get a good smoke on them. Yeah, and get them good and hot, and we'll look at them. When they start getting the crisp. Good. Get the crisp on the wrap egg. You right, know, your whole get case. a good color on them. Too. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, you can go to your local stores down here. You can get the other boudins and everything else here. But I prefer the Leblanc boudin if you're coming down and everything else. Great Super Bowl down south, Louisiana, LSU games, Saints games, any tailgating, any kind of party. Everybody, you go there. The southern hospitality we have down here, you're gonna get some boudin, crackling, jambalaya, gumbo, and everything else here. So, this is one of them, and we're gonna go ahead and get these ready for the uh, Kamado Joe here. And this is Mr. Russ's Kamado Joe here, smoker he has. We've been seeing uh, on YouTube a good bit, and I tell you what, it has been doing a lot of wonders. Gonna lay this uh, crawfish here on this one side here. Not gonna take long, like I said, it's pre cooked already. And most of you store uh, boudin will come pre-cooked. I like it smoked. It takes it gets a real flavor. It takes a little bit longer, but I love it. it but like I said, you can ball it, cook it in a fry pan. But some other things I can tell you you can do with this: breakfast. Take this, cook it down. Cut your casing open, throw in a cast iron pot pan, scramble eggs, onions, bell pepper, celery, season up the mushrooms, mix all that in because it's rice and pork and all. Cook it that up and put it on a toasted tortilla for breakfast. Makes breakfast burritos. Wow, that yeah. sounds great. Yes, so we'll have to do that one day, Mr. Russ. All right, we're gonna take this and shut up and um, let this job. What we got here is uh, our boudin. I believe it's ready for us. That smoke. Oh, Russ. Oh, man, that's Look beautiful. It. We have a hot pork and crawfish. And I'll tell you what, it's a pleasure here. Good crisp to it. I'll tell you what, the Blanc Boudin has, I hate to say, some of the best Boudin around, too, here. A lot of people would knock them, but I'll tell you what, if you've been around it, you get your locals and people, if you ever try it, you can't go wrong. Crawfish Boudin, you can get year round. And this is the hot pork. Move that here. And we're going to be doing a couple things different with our boudins here. Super Bowl party. And I think we got some friends coming over later on. And uh, to help us eat this, I hope, you know. Uh, Absolutely. Yes. Because <laughs> that's a lot. Crawfish boudin, what we're going to do there, and we're going to have some that's going to stay smoked. And when the other ones, we're going to take and cut and make the crawfish boudin calzones. The things you can do with this boudin is after it's done, um, you can do a couple things here. 
cut the casing or before you even cook though if you want to do stuffed bell peppers cut the casing and all the seasons there because it's rice pork season all that here put that in the bell pepper Italian breadcrumbs some shredded mozzarella bake it up and there you go take a little frog bone sauce and you can't go wrong with it right there. Texas is well known for their salsa. I have met some really good people in Texas doing the food shows and all here. I'll, I like to mention three of them if I can. Sure. Um, it's Mr. Monty Caraway. He owns Warning Salsa. You can go to his website and order. He has some of the best fire roasted salsa you ever want to taste. Another person will be uh, Raven's Nest Specialties. And that's Miss Monica. And she has a pineapple salsa. A mango salsa I uh, love real sweet and that's different things for dip Super Bowl stuff too and everything I mentioned is for Super Bowl go on their website and order their stuff too another lady is Miss Anna uh, Miss Anna is the Canadian coon ass I say here she has an <laughs> accent so you got a Canadian accent a coon ass accent too and a cowboy from uh, Texas there we put all three of us together it's, it's a big show <laughs> that's a it, crew, it yeah. is. but Miss Anna is uh, Texas squeeze and it's all natural healthy salsa in a squeeze bottle here she does a pineapple salsa and different other brands here check her website out remember the smoke uh crawfish boudin we did on the kamado joe here well this is where this part comes in here right here we're going to take that smoke boudin actually going to cut the casing cut it down like that take the casing off and we're going to use this as a stuffing the rice the crawfish the seasoning all that here so like i said um what we're going to do is uh do all six of these take off and once we get all these done then we'll be right back crawfish boudin we cut the casings we have it here take the grand biscuits real simple and quick and easy just take it and grind don't add no seasoning to this here unless you want to add bell peppers, onions, mostly if you want chunks, but you really don't. This is a crawfish boot and get crawfish tails. So we're gonna take this and stuff this. Just like that. You know what, um, Ross, I'm gonna, instead of making a cow's own look, uh, I'm gonna make this into a ball, a biscuit ball. And I'll say we're gonna do one more real quick and show you. And we'll see how it comes out. And like I said, we're not gonna bake them in the oven. You can, if you want some here. But we got a lot of time on the hand, and some of Mr. Russell's kin folks, cousins, came out of Houston and surprised him a while ago. So now we got someone to come help us. I wish up. I would have had that on the camera. <laughs> so his wife surprised him with that here. I knew, didn't want to tell the man, but yeah. So anyway, we got a a crawfish boudin uh, biscuit ball here. So we're gonna see how this comes out, and we'll be right back. We're gonna get the rest of these uh, made up. Baby ham and pineapple barbecue stuff calzones real quick and easy here this will be quick stuff here you can have there for your appetizers around here and this is what we're going to do this is what we're going to use graham biscuits real simple home style buttermilk frog bone by you barbecue sauce took some pineapple cut up some pineapple and canadian ham all right i'm gonna move this out real quick and we're gonna go ahead and get these things ready and stuff all right real quick and simple what we're gonna do here take those and just flatten them out we're going to do a couple too, and we'll have everything else to show you exactly uh, how they done here. So we're going to do two different styles. So this is going to be the first one. Get that here. Got some that Canadian ham. Put on one side there. There we go. Just like a ham and pineapple pizza, pretty much you can get from anywhere. I like really uh, Domino's. Really has a good ham and pineapple pizza. Going to put that there. They want to take some of that dough. Chunk of pineapple, little pieces. Three little, four little pieces like that. Then we're going to take our Bayou barbecue sauce, frog bone, which we won multi awards here. This is a finishing sauce here, so this is real good, light, sweet Cajun kick flavor. And basically, I'm just going to take here and just pour a little bit like that on there. You can brush it on, put on. Alright, then real simple, just fold over, tuck in, pinch your sides where the sauce don't come out, 
fold over. And you can add anything you want to these here. Like I said, we did a ham and pineapple, and you can really take shredded chicken, like you get a rotisserie chicken you can get from Walmart, Sam's, pulled pork, turkey, stuff it, bell pepper, onions, mushrooms, anything. But I like this. It's real good. We got two versions. This is a ham and pineapple Hawaiian style calzone. Okay. And we'll be right back and we're going to finish uh, putting together the rest of them. All right. We got these pre made. And one thing um, we notice here is we fold them up and everything else and put them. It'd be wise next time if we do a little egg wash to stick your dough together. That's the only mistake I know that we found so far. We'll put the whole tray in here. We at 300. And we're going to bake those. Just like an oven. But it's going to be... We've got pecan smoked. Pecan, yeah. Yeah, yeah we got pecan smoked uh, wood in there, chips and everything else. And this uh, Kamado Joe has been doing wonders uh, as all his videos. Uh, really do. Uh, Mr. Kamado Joe... Rep, if you need someone to hear me and Mr. Ross, we're ready to travel with our foods and everything else with this here. I'm a true believer after today, seeing all this besides uh, on his videos in person, it has done right. wonders. All right, we just done our stuffed calzones with uh, ham and pineapple with the Bayou barbecue sauce and the crawfish boudin calzone roll here. First time we ever done it on a Kamado Joe. So we learned a little couple things what to do now here. We had it at 300. We know next time we need to do it at 350, half your temperature. And I want to say right about 20 minutes at 350, this will work. But you can do this in the oven at your regular temperature, 15, 17 minutes as regular bacon. But we're outside, no time period, no rushing. And we want to do that Kamado Joe, see what it can do. So that Kamado Joe did another wonder just now. So we're going to take this nice and everything else and we're going to <laughs> I'll tell you what <clears throat> Domino's, Papa John's, are you I'm not coming to buy another Hawaiian pizza, ham and pineapple I think we found us a winner with the same thing it's cheaper and it tastes better it's nice to be around good friends and family doing this here this is another super bowl hit we don't like again we don't know what team's going to make the super bowl but i guarantee like we said smoky ribs frog bone caving and sauces guaranteed winners for super bowl partying all right right on that's it <laughs> till next time smoky ribs frog bone we're coming out with some more stuff coming soon watch for us